Uh, good morning, afternoon, or evening. In this video, let's take a look at the ETF ARKK, known as ARK Innovation. This is uh, an ETF that is fairly well known, very popular. Most people have heard about it. It's in the news a lot of times. And so I wanted to take a look at this to, and just kind of review it. Today, I think we'll just focus in on the basic, uh, basic structure, the performance. We'll look at the holdings within it and then uh, draw some conclusions. And then uh, for another video uh, later on, we'll break it down, get more under the hood on this ETF and, uh, and make an assessment on it. But so here's our ARKK, and we're basically looking from to, uh, 2020 pre-COVID out, so we can see how this ETF came to uh, its claim to fame. What's this big run up here from the lows, almost well over two hundred percent? It basically topped out at the beginning of twenty twenty one, and then from there, the ETF has come down considerably. It's down around right now. It's down about seventy percent, and for the year, it's down about fifty percent. So, uh, has certainly had its day in the sun over here, and since then, it's just been sold so we'll take a look at see if we can figure out what's going on uh, but behind the scenes but the makeup the etf it's um uh, has 32 holdings um when i looked at this just recently and those 32 holdings are spread across six sectors the sector diversification is a bit um, um deceptive because the bulk of the holdings are actually in technology and healthcare. And then there's a few holdings um, spread between industrials, consumer and defensive cyclicals and commercial uh, or communication services. The majority of the holdings are actually uh, in tech, so there's 15. And then inside of the health sector, 12 of the holdings are actually bio, uh, there's actually 12 in the health sector out of which eight are in the biotech. So if you, Add up the tech and the biotech, 23 out of 32 holdings, almost two thirds of the holdings in this uh, ETF are highly speculative. And uh, so that is really going to shape the performance of this. So let's have a look at, um, uh, let's go through run to the holdings. So here we have Zoom and from peak to to current, it's down about 85%. So if you held it all the way down, you'd be down 85%. And then year to date, Zoom is down around 55%. So this is communication services, telecoms. Roku did slightly better from, had a nice little run up from pre-COVID, massive double top. And this stock is down from the peak peak to close is about down about 85%. Year to date, this stock is 68%. So certainly, and it's not out of the woods yet either. So that's first two stocks are down considerably. And then we have Tesla. So Tesla pre-COVID to the peak had a nice run up, um, close to a thousand percent. And this one's actually held up better than and on a relative basis than so it's down 27%. So it's, it's outperformed its um, holding ETF. To you, so this one, you can see peak over to the peak, it was up about 247% and then peak to close, recent close is down just over 70%. So this one's also lost most of its value. And NTLA. So this was a, a sleeper through this period, finally wakes up. And then pre COVID to the uh, peak there, it's 1384%. Uh, and then the peak to close, it's down over 60%. CRISPR, so this was in the news is biotech. 
So pre-COVID, drop to peak, close to drop to peak there, it's up uh, over 300%. And then from peak to recent close, it's down 66% year to date. It shows about 12% down. NBTA, so this one is down yesterday 74 percent and it's pretty much yeah neglected heavily through this period first bar so this one also had a nice run up from pre-covid to the peak and you can start to see a pattern there right? so all of the all of these stocks um on the covid run or, or pre-covid run to the end of basically 2020 had significant moves up and then effectively from 2021, they've all come down. This one's down 78%. So this was a more recent IPO. Didn't exist before COVID. Came out during the pandemic, still had a nice run, it's almost about 80%. And then from peak, it's just languishing. Some of the things a penny stock at this stage. Another biotech. So from the trough around the pandemic to the peak up here, about 150. And then from here, clearly it's made a double top there. Come back down. It's down about 50%, just under. So this was another uh, hyped up um, stock up 200% from pre-COVID to the peak. And then from there, it's given back 75% a drop. So beam. So let's go through a few more of these. Actually, we'll run through all of them, but this one. So I won't go through the, uh, all the peak to drops, but let's have a look at. So this one's down 26%. DNA's down. 64% for the year. VCYT is down about 54%. Fate is down about 52%. Pacific Biosciences is down 67 True Simple Holdings. This is trucking, interestingly. It's down 78 Kind of surprising given all of the global supply chain and then uh, the disruptions that we had and the, the big demand for to move goods. Um, <clears throat> Hood, so this was another hyped up uh, stock that came in where all the, uh, the, the memes investors were gravitating to. So came out, rushed up from its IPO and then pretty much setting towards becoming a penny stock down 80%. And then path. So this came out pretty late in 2021 or early 21, mid 21. Peak. It's down 82%. And the year to date, this is down 66%. So pretty much um everything we're seeing if the holdings in this etf obviously have been creamed nothing's really so far nothing we haven't seen anything that's uh, stood up the best one so far has been tesla and this was <clears throat> supposed to be the um supporting all the cryptocurrency craze so it's still down 80 86 percent when this came out and a lot of people were trying to jump into this in this area, but they had a nice little short-term trade and then it's been taken to the wood shop. Shed, um, and SGFY. So this one's actually had peaked up recently. And in fact, it's probably the only stock that is up in the ETF. Yeah, it's, uh, it's actually done exceptionally well. It's up 100% yesterday. Then Roblox. So this was another IPO that was in 
heavily hyped down 55 percent unity another ipo that was heavy, of heavy interest in the short-term traders arena you can see kind of a double topish pattern up here and then uh, this is also dropped significantly it's down 71 percent for the year and then shopify so this did well for a little bit during the pandemic and this has also been sold off down 75 percent for the year teledoc this was uh one of the kind of pandemic plays about call your doctor have a video visit telephone visit and we can see this one just got hammered as well down 63 percent for the year <clears throat> but more from the peak nvidia which was like a, a real go-to stock it was supposed to, you know like an honorary fang type of stock for a while and this one has also had it you know, busted is down 56 percent from the peak it's down 51 percent. so it's lost a lot just this year today and this is a quality uh quality stock mtls big drop yeah that's that probably was an earnings event and somewhere in here it's down 48 percent and then square renamed block um so this was doing this actually did pretty good early on it's it's, had a, it's definitely had a um had a winning run just like nvidia did but double top here and then since then it's come down and year to date it's uh, down 54 percent pager duty which is in the kind of devops space uh, up and coming area of it had a lot of promise and so far not be, not been able to perform this one's down 28 percent so this one along with tesla uh of the ones that are down are down the, the least sgfy is one that's up 10x genomics was hanging around in uh, various lists and we can see a big topping uh pattern here and that's down 76 percent twilio was another one that did well a couple of years back um for a little while now this one is down 72 percent for the year and you've got a obviously trend change it's down over 80 percent so if you didn't get out sometime in 21 and you sat this through because you're waiting for the infamous oh, you know, five-year return you've seen your you, you you've seen your portfolio decimated um this one spotify is down 52 percent for the year and they're back to zoom 